What's up billionaires? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited about today's video. We are talking about millennial ways to make money. So if you don't know what that means, it's basically a side hustle. These are things that you can do that are not a nine to five because who wants to be in a nine to five? Not me. <laughs> and currently I am in a nine to five ish kind of job. Um, I work at Whole Foods. I'm not gonna say which one, just for safety reasons. I will have a video coming out um, right when I quit of why I'm quitting. <laughs> so I'll look forward to that. And yeah, I'm working two jobs currently. I'm working one full-time job right now as well as one part-time. Um, so in addition to working at Whole Foods, I also do Instacart. So yeah, Instacart is pro like, it was uh, a petit temps. The way that I really found out about Instacart was through my current job, um, my first job at Whole Foods because they have it there. And I was like, what's that? Like there's personal shoppers, what? And they get paid more than me, what? I was like, um, that sounds cool. Like, yes, please. And I applied online and I got the job. Like I, I went to the interview and I got hired like the same day as the interview. And that's the same thing that happened with the Whole Foods job. Like I got hired right on the spot which is pretty cool and doesn't always happen, so I consider myself quite lucky. So in front of me on my laptop, I have a list of millennial jobs. I'm gonna try to fix these shadows. I know there's some like shadow on me. It's just cause I have like, oh, I'm only working with two lights right now when I really need three, but we're gonna make it work, okay? Okay, so the first millennial way to make money, money. is to sell clothes whether that's on Poshmark, Depop, or Vinted. Currently, I have my closet on Vinted, which is linked down below if you wanna check that out. I have some super cute clothes on there, like just like crop tops and stuff, um, and everything in between. So yeah, go check that out, support your girl. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of the most popular ways. I know Depop got really popular. I was on Poshmark like a while ago, but Poshmark takes 20% of your earnings and Vinted takes 19 and I heard Depop takes zero so I don't know if that's true please leave a comment below if you are on Depop and they do take a commission or they don't let me know okay the second way to make money as a millennial is to live stream yes I said it live stream and with your clothes on too like freaking awesome right <laughs> we all know there's some some crazy things online and people do live stream some inappropriate things but you can live stream just this I could be live streaming this right now just talking you now live me uh, by go those are three apps that I use for live streaming that you can make money on the one that I've seen the most um, return with would have to be live me so you can go follow my live me it is also linked down below it's just Cosette DeMille Mill Cosette DeMille on every single platform I even got the new Twitter so yes my Twitter thing at the end of my videos how it, I have like my little outro and like the two videos that you click on and like all my social media links right on the side um, yeah, that Twitter username is now wrong. My Twitter is just Cosette DeMille, no underscore. So yeah, just had to say that. <laughs> so yeah, you can make money selling clothes, live streaming, and walking dogs. <laughs> if you if you wanna walk dogs, or I believe these apps offer dog sitting as well, and even cat sitting, I'm not sure. But it's Wag and Rover. Those are, I have not tried these, so I cannot say anything about them. I, I believe I applied and I went through all of that. And there are a lot of dogs in my neighborhood, so I, sh I should do it, I really should. But yeah, let me know if you have used WAG or Rover. Leave a comment below if you like it. I know they're basically the same thing. I believe they're just both dog walking apps. Um, you might be able to dog sit and cat sit as well. Let me know, I'm not positive about that. That's just a guess. Um, okay, the next way to make money as a millennial is to deliver stuff. So we're talking about DoorDash, we're talking about Deliveroo, Uber Eats, Postmates, all of that stuff. They, I have not tried these. Again, this is not something I can speak speak about with personal experience. Like I've sold clothes on, on Vinted and Poshmark and I've live streamed on YouNow and LiveMe, but I haven't walked dogs or been a delivery person. Um, but I want to, as soon as I want to get a car, I'm probably gonna do that because you can just drive around and I, I've, I've gotten, I get Postmates delivered a lot, so I've gotten um, 
uh, like when I went to go get my food one time, there was this guy who was like pulling up in his car and he had like his whole family like in the car, like his little like baby in the back and his wife in this front seat. And it was just really cute. Cause I was like, wow, like I tipped him really big. And I was like, like, it feels good to support like a family. Like you see that they're, they're hustling, they're out there, they're working, you know? Um, but, but I have heard that it does suck when people don't tip because most of the time people don't. Um, and that's just a fact. And that that used to be me when I would order Postmates or something, um, because I'd be spending like, you know, when you get something delivered, it's way more expensive than it is if you just go to the restaurant and eat it, right? Like there's delivery fees and tax and all that stuff. So usually I wouldn't tip because I'm like, oh, I'm already spending like 30 bucks on like a freaking vegan quesadilla or something, you know, like something stupid. Um, so I wouldn't tip because I'm like trying to save money. But now working in the service industry, I always tip everyone because I know the struggle I get it so I tip everyone <laughs> yeah such an American thing I know in France no one really tips because le pouvoir is included in l'addition so yeah but that's America so welcome we tip everyone here okay the next thing is to babysit this is something that I did do did do 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 <laughs> so the care care.com app Sorry about that, my laptop. Um, okay, so care.com. It's it's a website, the dot com, care.com, as, as well as an app. So I have used this and I really do love it. Uh, I believe I've I've used the app just because it's more convenient. But I got a whole uh, a nannying job like a couple summers ago where I was working for this family for like the entire summer and I made a lot of money. So I got a nannying job one summer and yeah, I was just hustling, trying to make money, and it at first it was just a babysitting job, but then she was like, no, like, I need you, like, basically every day. So I can't remember if I Ubered. I'm pretty sure I Ubered, and I had my, like, account hooked up to my parents or something. Like, I don't know. That's the only way I could afford that at the time. Um, but it was really nice having my own money that summer. I believe I was, like, a sophomore or something in um, high school, so that was pretty cool. Um, where were we? Sorry, I'm looking for my list. Okay, yeah, so care.com is really the only babysitting app I know of. I don't really know of any others, so if you do, comment them below because I, I would love to babysit on the side. I think that is such a, a great like little side hustle. Um, the only thing I really, really dislike about babysitting, like I love kids. They're so fun to just play with and just share that imagination with but the moms like and the dads like they're both just like oh my god you have to do things like this exactly like this or else like you know like you you walk into these people's like homes and you have to just do everything as they do which is like what sucks um i believe yeah i had a couple nannying jobs like i had some babysitting jobs where like it was just like once in a blue moon you know but um i think i've had like two times where I was like a full-time like nanny um one time for these little girl twins yeah. and then um the second time was for like these like two older kids so that was nice they're a little older and I had a lot of fun with them I would make them food and I'd eat it too and it was it was nice it, it was really nice it's it's definitely like when I compare that job to what I'm working now like in a juice bar like it's My nose gets itchy when I talk a lot, like when I'm channeling, I don't know why. I don't know why. So a commercial break real quick. This is an oil that I made recently. This is actually my channeling oil. I wish you could see it better, maybe like on my face where the light is. <laughs> it's like, there's bougainvillea, there's blue hydrangea, there's a bunch of really pretty stuff in it. This is for channeling, so we're gonna put some on since I'm talking a lot. So if you don't know what channeling is, it's basically just, you know, opening up the channel. Whether you are an artist or a singer or whatever, whatever you create, this opens up those portals. Oh, it smells so good. And this is my manifest, manifest oil. Yes. Ooh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. So this is for manifesting. So when you put this on, you think of something that you wanna manifest. And this one is for communicating with fairies. I showed this in my other video. So yeah, got some neat little potions here. Hit me up if you want a custom blend. Okay, back to the video. 
So yeah, honestly, like when I think about what I did for families, like as a nanny and what I do now, like at Whole Foods, it's like, I would trade it any day. <laughs> And I got paid like literally the same, like I'm getting paid $13.50 at this one job, like at Whole Foods and I got paid 13 bucks as that, as a nanny. And honestly, I, right now, if someone offered me that, I would take it in a heartbeat, you know, but I, I have this other job, um, Instacart, which I do love. And, um, we're going to talk about that. So I should have like included it with the delivering part. Um, one of my coworkers at Instacart also does like I think it's Uber Eats or Postmates, one of those. Um, and he said it's kind of not worth it, but I'm still considering it. I still think it could be something good. Because it's like, if you drive like 15 miles and the person doesn't tip and it's like an order that for like less than 10 bucks, like it's not worth it. Because I'm not sure how the delivering works. If you, if you do deliver for Uber Eats or Postmates or whatever, comment below and let me know, do you get a commission off of the... The purchase of food even if they don't tip you in person or on the app because I know they offer both I love to tip people in person I just give them the cash you know so they can have it but I know you can tip through the app but that's what I prefer um, but yeah let me know if you still make a commission even if they don't tip let me know okay the next one is thumbtack so y'all y'all probably don't know what this is um, so watching Liza Koshy's new series, Liza On Demand, like just really, really inspired me. And I think you should go watch it. Even if you don't have like YouTube premium or whatever, like go check it out. Um, I think the three, first three or two episodes are free. So go watch that. She's such an inspiration. She's so amazing. Um, but like her app, so she talked about Instacart and she talked about Uber and she talked about all these side hustles that she did. So honestly, this video is really, really inspired by that. And I just love how she, she's like inspiring people to get out of that nine to five grind. And she's like, yo, go drive for Uber, go deliver groceries, like go babysit, go dog walk, you know, like do anything. And so in that, in the show, she uses this app called Task It, which doesn't exist. I, I already tried looking it up. Um, and it's kind of like this app where people are like, oh, can you like fix my toilet? Can you um, be my personal assistant for the day? Can you drop off the dry cleaning? Can you take my kids to school? Like odd jobs, you know? So that's what it's for. Um, so I like I, I, right after I saw that show, I was like, oh my God, I need to look for something like this. Like I need to find an app that allows me to do this because like, I hope this exists, you know? So I searched and I searched and I found Thumbtack. So the only thing I don't like about Thumbtack is that you have to basically pay them before you make any money, which is the reason I haven't tried it yet, honestly. If you have tried using Thumbtack, let me know down below. Let me know how you liked it. Let's keep the comments really open and just help each other um, to explore this world of side hustles, you know, and getting out of that nine to five. Um, because honestly, like the, these things, like selling clothes, live streaming, walking dogs, delivering, babysitting, teaching languages, like all of that is what you, you should be doing. You know, if you, if you want to get out of that nine to five, do these things, but then like the ultimate goal should be starting your own business. It should be like, it definitely should be. That's where it's about, you know, that's self-employment. That, that's what it's about because yes, working for these things, like you're still working under you now, or you're working under WAG or DoorDash, you know, like you still have an upper, but when you have your own business, you're the boss baby. And that's what it's about. So have that be your goal. Cause right now that's mine. You know, these potions, DeMille Beauty, follow me on Instagram. Like this is my business. This is what I'm gonna turn into an empire. So yeah, <laughs> go support me. Okay, so yeah, Thumbtack. Um, I haven't tried it, but it sounds awesome because you can have all those odd jobs. Like I could be a personal assistant for someone. Um, I can be a Reiki healer for someone. Like I am a Reiki healer, so I can offer my services on there. I can do astrology charts on there. I can make potions on there. Like it's, it's really unique in that way. Um, as well as Soothe, the app Soothe, 
Um, that's like if you want to like order a massage straight to your door. Um, I, I, I downloaded it because I wanted to see like if I need a degree or something in massaging like to go to people's house and give them massages. It's quite like is an intimate thing so you have to be like comfortable touching strangers you know? anyways our next one is teaching languages so i don't have any apps for this one um but i definitely know that you can make money teaching languages and if you know if you know comment below because like i would love to teach people some english and like brush up on my french like i would love that and I promise I'm gonna do a video in full French soon. I'm just like practicing and working up the courage because I'm not fully fluent, um, but it's coming, it's coming, I promise. Okay, and then after teaching languages is tutoring subjects. I don't have an app for this one, but I'm sure you can like just talk to people in your neighborhood if there's someone who needs help in math or chemistry or English or whatever, that you could help them and you can make money at it because I paid a math tutor, I had a math tutor in high school and he made 45 an hour off of me and my brother, like crazy. The, the last one on my list is starting a business because that's what it's about, that's what it's about. And this video is long enough. So yeah, go start a business, it can be anything. What are you good at? What are you attracted to? For me, it was, it was herbs and oils. Ugh, I hate that you can't really see how beautiful these look in the light. I really need to like, we're getting creative here. Ooh, okay, I mean, you can see it better with the... <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying to show you. Because all the light's coming this way and not... Yeah, okay. Anyways, start a business. Like, I'm attracted to herbs and oils, and so I was like, okay, let me turn that into a business. Like, as well as art, and like, selling paintings and stuff. Like, making candles, or making clothes, making music, selling music. Like, find your thing and run with it because you will not regret it. You will be so happy that you were your own boss and you have an empire. Like, it, just look at Jeffree Star. Like, I know he's very controversial, but if you go watch his Shane documentary, go watch Shane Dawson's documentary with Jeffree Star right now. Go watch it because that shifted a lot. Like, a lot of us saw Jeffree Star as just this person that just has it all and has their own cosmetics line and is just like, had it all handed to him. But that's not really the story. Like, he built it from the ground up and that's just really inspiring because he has an empire now. Like, he has an empire and he was broke. Like, I have chills right now talking about it because it was so inspiring. Like, he went from zero dollars, like, a Baroque, to a, a millionaire. He makes 150 million a year now. Like, what? Like, you can do that too. We can all do that. There is enough abundance to go around. There is enough abundance to go around. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to end this video. If you like this, make sure to like it. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I'm definitely trying to get more consistent with my content. So yeah, drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see next from me. And if you want to book a reading, head over to my website, cosettedemille.com. All the links are below. Um, so yeah, that's my little business that I have right now. And if you want to support that, I would really appreciate it. And I would love to give you a card reading or do your natal chart for you. Um, or do a dream interpretation and all that other fun stuff that I have on there. Okay, love you. Ciao. <laughs> Thank you.